Hello and welcome to another Somerset Real Air review. Um, I've got uh, another uh, <laughs> another dark ale, uh, Christmassy ale uh, um, again. I, I just can't stop drinking these lately, so I'm sorry to everybody who likes um, uh, their hoppy sort of IPAs, but um, I will get back to them soon. I just really enjoy my dark beers. But this one is from the uh, Whittington's Brewery in Newant, near Gloucester. It's their, a win, uh, it's what's called, A Winter's Tale, 5.1% ABV, purveyors of the perfect pint. I think it's all to do with cats. Certain to do with cats, so, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know, certain Dick Whittington, isn't it? He had a cat, so, I guess. Anyway, let's, um, let's pop it open then. A little bit of smoke there on the open. Yeah, I picked this one up on my travels in a little farm shop in a place called Over, just just near Newent, well, between Newent and Gloucester. Um, I was quite pleased with it. It's... There we go. Now that looks, oh, that looks lovely and dark. It's not, it's a little bit more than a ruby. A little bit darker than a ruby. Um, I don't think you're going to get, you slightly see, no, wrong side, that colour there is sort of a dark, really deep chestnut, hardly any head on it, not even half a finger, um, what there is of it is off, just off white, um, and there's no carbonation in it either, well, I'm saying that I can't even see the carbonation, but um, that looks lovely, looks really inviting that, so um, let's get the nose. I right, give it a little swirl up first. Oh, beautiful malts, gorgeous. Malty, spicy. That smells wonderful. So you get sort of a sweety, a berry. I think, um, I think it was either Chris off a of Real N140 or Simon off of uh, Real L guy called call it a Christmas pudding in a glass beer or something like that. They called it. Um, and I think that's that's what they mean by this sort of beer. I, I'm presuming because it does, it is quite you know you get a nice decent mouthfeel on it. But I guess lovely flavours. Perhaps even a bit of bit of toffee in there as well maybe. Sorry I look a mess again, just got back from work and you know, the first thing you do when you get in the door is you've got to have a beer, haven't you? So anyway, let's um let's get a taste on them. Fairly carbonated for a, for a dark beer, um, but not not too much, not too much. Um, I think you get. Hang on, let's have another sip. I'm trying to work out this. You get carbonation and bitterness. Um, at the, it, it, just at the start, very very early on, you get carbonation and bitterness. I'm trying to work out this carbonation or bitterness. I think it is a bit of carbonation actually. The bitterness comes afterwards, um, but then you get a nice little coffee, sort of roasted, really roasted coffee taste after afterwards, um, and you get sort of a sweetness and and I think maybe a bit fruity afterwards. Mm. That's really nice, that. Um, I've, I've, I've had my um, taste swayed a bit at the moment because I had the Fuller's Past Masters and that was such a strong beer. And um, I saw, <laughs> I saw everything about after, after that has been 
mild, but not in a bad way. But it's you know, it's just it was such a strong beer. It was unbelievable. Um, but this this is a good this is a good beer. I I really like that. I think I I, I would have that again. Um, let's read you a bit then. Whittington's Brewery, purveyors, purveyors of the perfect pint, <laughs> finest bottle condition Gloucestershire ale, uh, Winter's Tail, 5.1%. Um, Whittington's Brewery, purveyors of the perfect pint. Uh, for more information or to visit our shop, restaurant or hotel, go to our website at www.whittingtonsbrewery.co.uk. Uh, store upright in a cool place and pour gently to avoid disturbing the sediment. Winter's, te winter's Tail is a dark traditional winter's ale, full of roasted malt, aromas and a sweet rich finish. Um, Goldings and North Down hops give a generous distinct flavour with a hint of spice and nuts. Can be enjoyed any time but especially on long cold nights. Well it's not night time but you know. Um, Whittington's Brewery, Newham, Gloucestershire, contains glutinous. Yeah, that's um, that's a nice, uh, a nice bit. I'm just, even though now, I mean, it's, it's been like you know a minute since I took my last sip, and I like the way you can still get a good flavour in your mouth. It's still stayed in your mouth. I get that nice sort of. I mean, they say, um, yeah, generous, distinct flavour, spice and nuts. I mean, I still, <clears throat> yeah, rich finish. I'm still getting a like a bitter, rich finish on that, you know. So, um, they say avoid pouring the sediment in, but I quite like it. So, personal choice. I mean, if you don't know anything about bottle conditioned beers, what the brewer does is um, puts a bit of yeast in the bottom of every bottle, and then that's the second stage of the fermentation period. Um, and you can ferment the ale in the bottle at last. I, mean, I don't know what the sell by date is on this. Oh, 11th, two, 2012. I mean, you've got a year on that. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's February now, so I'm guessing this was in the shop for quite a while before Christmas, obviously, being a Christmas beer. But you've got like a year on the, on the, on the beer, which is um, quite surprising. But um, yeah, so you can age it. And it has a bit of. Bit of zing to the beer. Now you've got half a finger head on there now. Let's give it a try with the uh, with the sediment in. Oh yeah, you get a lot more. You get, do get a lot more of that coffee flavour in there now. I can't. I mean, there's no way you're going to see if there's any sediment in there. I just can't see it. It's so dark you can't see it. Um. Oh no. no! It's still in there. It's still in the bottle. Um, yeah, it's not. It's not come out of the bottle. It's, it's stuck. I mean, you, you, you see, I give it a good vigorous swirl round, but that that wasn't coming out of there. So that's no. Well, I presume there might be a little bit more flavour in there, but yeah. That's quite good. Well, as dark ales go, um, I quite like that. I think that's going to get. We'll give that a seven and a half out of ten. It's a good beer. That. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time. Um, if you want to put some comments in the comments box, it'd be brilliant. I'd love to answer to them, and um, be grateful if you could subscribe. Thanks for watching again. Cheers.